is the plant in fact uptaking what it needs when it needs and leaving behind in the medium what it doesn't need? Technically, yes. I mean, that's that's what plants do, you know. But with organic um, production, it's kind of a, it's a slow burn. It's like barbecue. You can't really know what you're putting on the plant every day and what's being taken up. You're putting on basically as much as you think you need for the, for a set amount of time. And then in that time, you're hoping that your plant doesn't run into a deficiency. And by the time you reapply, you're hoping that you don't have an accumulation of that particular thing, like say nitrogen. So with organic production, you, you really have to know your cultivars. That's one big thing. Like all these great producers and tomato producers that are doing it outdoors and organically, they're doing it with cultivars that they know exactly how to run and they know exactly what the nutri- nutritional needs are in the different life stages. So if, if you know your cultivars that well, then it's fairly easy to plan your applications of organic nutrients. If not, then you kind of, again, do like a shotgun approach in your media where you add as much as you think you need that plant's going to need for a set amount of time and then you reapply after that time has expired. Ideally doing leaf tissue tests. A lot of um, field agriculture, they, they live and breathe off of leaf tissue tests because that allows you to know exactly what you need to put on and you don't need to over apply, which means you don't need to overspend on fertilizers. So when it comes to organic production, you can kind of look at it the same way where if you do a leaf tissue test maybe once every one or like maybe once or twice every growth cycle and just kind of track how your nutrients are being used in your media as you amend it during your mix, then you can know that, oh, I need to add a little bit more calcium sulfate or, hey, I need to add a little bit more nitrogen during this phase because my plants seem very hungry. So it would have to be, it's a very time intensive process process if you don't have leaf tissue testing because you're just going off of symptoms in the plant and just kind of how you know that plant should grow but if you you could speed that up with 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 leaf tissue testing and kind of really dial in an organic program almost as good as a conventional agriculture salt program this clip is brought to you by ac infinity use discount code mr grow at 15 to save on any of their products 